Virtual reality, immersed in high-performance computing and communications. Virtual reality is a field in which entrepreneurial individuals can make major contributions. Myron Kruger showed his first artificial reality and telepresence concepts over 20 years ago. Here, no data gloves are required. Gesture recognition uses hand motions as input to control critters, colors, and action. At Boeing in Huntsville, Alabama, models of the space station Freedom are explored to test maintenance and operation plans and train astronauts before the physical prototypes are built. Virtual reality is also used to design factory machine layouts and production flow and to demonstrate compliance with standards and safety regulations. Children in Seattle at the Human Interface Technology Laboratory design their own worlds and test them out. Virtual reality, although expensive now, will enter homes and schools in video game hardware. It is up to our educators and publishers to provide the instructional content and realize the potential of this compelling medium. Many near-term virtual reality opportunities will be in entertainment. Sophisticated input devices, like the one shown here controlling real-time animation of Mario, in conjunction with consumer virtual reality gear, will help spawn industries. Virtuality Systems provides a very popular multiple-player virtual reality game in arcades. Dactyl Nightmare literally carries you away. Experience virtual bobsled training, play an instrument, or conduct an entire orchestra. Entertainment is the international strategic market which will likely drive the personal computer industry this decade and next. The High Performance Computing and Communications Initiative is developing computing, communications, and software technologies for the 21st century. These technologies will tightly couple with the growth of the virtual reality industry and its application. The National Information Infrastructure will encourage and enable our access to high-performance computing and communications. Virtual reality provides a high-end test bed for matching state-of-the-art computers and high-speed networks to humans, one, several, or even thousands at a time. These scientific and engineering visualizations are the future of virtual reality, not the present. These animations require computing speeds many thousands of times faster than possible on today's workstations. If a simulation now takes an hour per frame to generate, by the late 90s, the teraflop parallel computer will compute it in real time, in virtual reality. Is this 100,000 increase in computing desirable? You be the judge. Chemical and biological catalysts are involved in 25% of the gross national product. Real-time investigation of catalysis could drastically improve the time to market. Weather is real-time, yet today's computational simulations of severe storms take many hours of computer time. Getting inside the storms to release tracers is a research goal of scientists working with virtual reality. Better understanding and prediction of the weather can save billions of dollars. The ways pollution moves through our air and water and the ways pollutants interact with each other are just now being modeled on supercomputers. Virtual reality can take students and researchers from the molecular level to a global view while playing what-if games. This animated walkthrough of the River Bend nuclear plant shows the kind of detail which will soon be common in virtual reality systems tied to high-performance computing and communications. Healthcare delivery can be improved through virtual reality and telepresence so that specialists may remotely access a patient. High-speed networking is a must. A volume visualization sent fast enough to achieve virtual reality needs thousands of times the data throughput of email, the difference between copper phone lines and optical fiber networks. What is it worth to thwart a terrorist attack with the potential of leveling Manhattan? Virtual reality augmented missions will require fine-grained geopositioning capability, accurate models of terrain, streets and buildings, motion effects and sound, all in a shared workspace. Warbreaker, a nationwide network of defense simulations, ties command and control centers to aircraft trainers to provide mission planning and battle preparation. Military advances represent dual-use technology. Transfer to civilian fire and police departments is certain.
It's now a question of maintaining technological superiority, understanding our environment, managing energy, recreating education for the 21st century, providing quality health care at lower cost, and just plain being competitive in a global economy. It's time to immerse ourselves in high-performance computing and communications.